Shane, number one, and great response by Tom Ryan about really giving indication of what he feels is, is happening and and uh, with his team's pulse right now. And so we'll see if Brad Domenico can improve on that. But that's tough duty against fast break offense right here from David Taylor. Brad Domenico is a junior out of Westerville, Ohio. And uh, Tom Ryan, who I agree, tremendous response. He's a, he's their it's team's okay, greatest okay. cheerleader. He is all he's an optimist, yet he tells it like it is. They have not looked well and good in this match so far, and, and Tom's calling it out, and he's going to address it at the appropriate time, and, and that will be immediately after this uh, after this meet. David Taylor out in front with the two point takedown. Taylor out of St. Paris, Ohio, St. Paris Graham High School. Two Ohio preps going at it. Yeah, they talk about a mature response to a, a, a great question and, uh, and, uh, and tough times. And, of course, probably one of the most surprised people in this building is Tom Ryan. And uh, he responded admirably to uh, uh, really what's been, uh, happening here in the first five matches. Well, maybe the, uh, uh, the leader in the, you know, in the Hodge Trophy uh, race right now, we may be looking at him and David Taylor, um, who is already a Hodge Trophy winner from two years ago when he won the NCAA title in 2012, won the Hodge Trophy. He's a three-time finalist, first team academic All-American, and the second takedown of the very young first period. Yeah, just right off the collar tie, comes down to low single leg shot. Is well done, and, and you can see that uh, he did the same thing that uh, you know Logan Steber did. The, the action wasn't wasn't having success in the top position, but uh, you know he was able to come back and get that quick takedown here, whereas Steber, you know, really wasn't able to follow it up with much effort in the remaining part of the match. But I think that uh, much scoring anyway, there was effort. But the uh, uh, one minute here, one minute. Brandon Minico in a tough position right now because. There's the cross face cradle here coming across. This is just like his uh, teammate, Ed Ruth. Dave is going to go ahead and try to put that near leg in, spread him out a little bit. But that cradle is locked up very tight. He's able to go ahead and get him. This could be a fall. No, oh, nice job by Grand Domenico, only giving up a two point near fall. Tom Ryan calls Grand Domenico Iron Joe. He uh, has done so much for them in these uh, first three years on the team. He's wrestled at 174, 184, whatever they ask him to do, wow. he goes out there and is as tough as he can be. This is tight, Tim. Notice how he's really cranking on that left arm of Grand Domenico. Taylor looks over and sees he does that much time. So he's gonna go ahead and go all the way for it. Wow, what shoulder flexibility. Great effort by Grand Domenico again, only giving up a three-point near fall. I'd say that that's, you know, Taylor is just awesome, right? What he's able to do in the top position and how much offense he's ever been able to put up. But that was great effort from the bot man at the bottom as well. Today's State Farm State of Success is David Taylor. Wow. You see him look over at the clock. He knew he had about 20 yeah, seconds. And he went after him. Committed to that pinning combination. Has never lost to a Big Ten opponent. David Taylor. It's just like we were talking about in what makes him great segment here. It creates a little separation between that elbow and knee right there, and he's able to go ahead and work with really not being contested right there with that right hand coming up for the half Nelson and a claw ride situation. But you've got, that's a good job by Grand Domenico coming up. Says, works the collar tie to that lead leg. Again, collar tie to the lead leg. We'll see him hit it. Collar tied, that lead leg, nice counter shot. No panic on Taylor's part here. He's gonna go ahead and try to spread him out a little bit, cut the corner. See how his hips are over all the way over to the waist of uh, Grand Domenico, and Grand Domenico really didn't square up. Taylor out in front, 11 to two. Of all the superlatives you could say about David Taylor, three-time NCAA finalist, a champion, a first-team academic All-American. He's also already graduated in graduate school, and he has outstanding potential internationally for USA Wrestling. Yeah, he, the next level is uh, is awaiting him, but again, you want to finish it out with a, yeah, he also has an opportunity to become a rare four-time team champion. You know, that that's, not a lot of guys can say that. A few years ago, Oklahoma State was able to go ahead, some of their athletes were able to go ahead and accomplish that feat, but, uh, of course, in the 
string of nine national titles that the University of Iowa put together. There were several athletes that had that accomplishment, but uh, some of these Penn State wrestlers will have the same opportunity here at this year's NCAA. It won't be given away, but uh, it will be crowned. End of the second period, drawing near, and over four minutes of riding time already, accumulated by number one ranked David Taylor. He leads 11 to two, and he chooses neutral. They'll go on their feet to begin the third period. There aren't many matches, I think, in the future where he's gonna have to go ahead and take the down position. He's so dominant in the top position. He put so many points up on in the first period. Why, why risk something fluky happening? And, Gets right to his offense again on a counter shot. Two more points take down out in front 13 to two. The riding time is a given, so it's a 12 point lead right now. He's got back points, so if he adds three more points to his, uh, to his lead, he'll well, have a tech fall. We're gonna do the what makes him great segment next week. <laughs> Iowa, Penn State match, and we're gonna focus on Dave Taylor, and then we have a lot of great footage here with just even this match, of how he's able to go ahead and control a bout. Works the head, see that collar tie right there? Comes to the underhook, stuffs the head, reaches the armpit there, goes right to the cradle again, he had that. He's gonna go ahead. One thing I like to see an athlete do in that situation, if you don't know the score, look to your corner and they'll give you directions on what to execute. Slide by there. Front trip, two more, 17 to four. David Taylor likes to come out, begin in the second half, if that's how it works out, and it does when you start at 125, and he certainly gives the Nittany Lion fans something to cheer about. Had that cross wrist tilt going there where he casts all the way across the other side of the body, but gonna get the, uh, he gets a takedown and ride out here with 20 seconds, which certainly looks possible. He'll get the uh, tech fall. David Taylor, one of the great ones, gets another takedown, 19 to five. He rides him out, he gets the one point. Riding time, he gets the tech fall and five more points for Penn State. And the crowd gives their appreciation. And Penn State goes out in front, 19 to three. David Taylor, winner by tech fall.